Amigos, amigos del canal en Vinil Hi-Fi, yo soy Ricardo Méndez y me encuentro en la Toy Fair y encontrando este, cosas, dimos con este lugar que estamos visitando, esto que se llama Rock Icons y bueno, aquí tengo a Tony que nos va a hablar un poco de lo que está sucediendo. Hi Tony, welcome Antonio, to the show. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. So, uh, well, you have these uh, reproductions, but please tell, uh, tell me about how this started, how this idea came, came to life. The company's 17 years old this year, and I grew up a music fan, but a music uh, uh, collector, and I love toys and collectibles. And what we realized was, you know, rock music and music in general wasn't really represented in, a, in the collectibles category. Plenty of stuff for TV and film and pop culture. So we thought, well, if nobody else is going to do it, why, why, don't, why don't we take a crack at it? So in 2003, we launched the first... Rock Icons limited edition statue of Randy Rose. And right. 17 years later, <laughs> here, here we are. So Rock Icons, uh, it's a hand cast resin collectible statue, limited edition, never more than 3,000 of anything. They retail at one, 149. Everything's officially licensed. So everything you see here on the booth, the, the artist or artist management was involved in and is, uh, is approved by them. Um, J.J. French from Twisted Sister was actually here uh, okay. yesterday and toured the booth. He loves, he loves what we got. That's from the, uh, the Stay Hungry, Stay Hungry era. Um, so that's, that's Reich Icons, that, that series 17 years old. After a few years, we would hear from super fans. I love what you do. It's super cool. I love the band. <laughs> However, I'm never going to buy a figure of any kind. I never have. I never will. <laughs> You're just uh, not into the category, right? Right. So I'm like, man, we gotta, we gotta fix that. We gotta make something for that, that fan. Okay. So that's where the idea of 3D vinyl came about. So, in talking to those fans, I'd, I'd ask them, you know, you like album art, right? Oh, of course. We all had the T-shirts. We wear them then. Yeah. We wear them now. I said, what if we took the album art and did something for you in, in 3D? And they're like, well, that might be cool, but I don't have any place to display it. I said, well, what if we give you brackets and you could wall mount it? Okay, you got me. So, that, <laughs> so that's, that's 3D vinyl. So that, that series is only a couple of years old. Okay. And then... Uh, Which one was the first vinyl? First made? 3D vinyl was uh, Appetite for Destruction, right here. Yeah, it's a classic cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. The skulls. Get, get Slash's cigarette down there. Yeah. And, you know, rock and roll, uh, well, not especially rock and roll, but uh, hard rock, uh, the 70s, were uh, when... I, I think the, 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 when, when it started this uh, rock stardom thing, I mean, you got Ziggy Stardust, you got Alice Cooper, you got uh, mm -hmm. Black Sabbath, Black. We, got, we got everything of these of these. 70s bands. was really interesting because you know, the 60s, you can say, it, well, it began in the 50s with, with Elvis and Little Richard and all those guys. The 60s, it, you know, it emerges as, you know, it's, it, it's the, uh, the protest rock and, and everything. 70s is when we start to get all of the different genres, yeah. progressive, heavy metal, uh, you know, the hard, whatever we want to call uh, hard rock aspect of it, and glam with, yeah. you know, with Bowie and, uh, and T-Rex. Yeah. So that was a really great time to grow up. I was right in the, the pocket for that. translated excellent on this, on, on, on this category. I mean, from the 70s to, to now, mm -hmm. it translates uh, incredible. Now, I see uh, a lot of uh, um, iconic records, mm -hmm. but I mean, there's a, like a lot of go too, especially on the progressive side. Yeah. I mean, you got Rush over there and I have, uh, I see Pink Floyd, mm -hmm. but you might remember all the, all the pro, I mean, yes, albums cover, there would be. Well, well uh, the answer, when we ask, you know, hey, are you going to do this? The answer is always, yes. You see how I did that? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just, all we're, 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 a, we're a, you know, a, a privately held company we're not huge there's just only so many things that we can do in a year so if, if it's a band that you loved from you know hard rock classic rock we'll get to it hang hang, hang in there okay. uh we can just only do so many things a year okay i'm gonna do i'm gonna roger dean 
you know, yeah. is my one of my heroes growing up. So you know, I'm gonna do uh, uh, a suggestion on camera. Okay. So to get, uh, I mean, I, uh, ma maybe you already get it. There's, vi there's video evidence. Yeah, so, so, so we get video evidence of if any if at some time is released, it was asked here first. <laughs> okay. So I would like to see a cover of the Turnover Friendly Car from Ellen Parsons project. Okay, so yeah, all, all of those all those albums are <laughs> are worthy and yeah. But you make a good point, you know. Just because it was a great record doesn't mean it's going to be great. Yeah, for, it's, for, it's a for great cover. Run. I mean, yeah. it's a great cover. That that's one. right. But that, there's one that is a, a great cover. We'll get asked for stuff, you know, that it's like really great record, really important in music history. It's just it's not going to translate to that. Four yeah, guys, know. you know, four guys on an album cover with black background. Yeah. If it's not Queen two. Right, you know, it, right. it's probably not the best but, but you see, subject. I, I do see a, a like a, a Night at the Opera thing on on three on three D. Now you have this Pantera album, mm -hmm. which is one of the best albums a in rock perfect, history. A perfect album. Uh, if you want, um, I'll uh, I'll pull it out for you and, and bring it out here. You want to do that? We we, we had a, 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 like a good shot. Of okay, this. so um, vulgar display of power. Something interesting about that. Every, every time we do a 3D vinyl, we want to represent whatever you bought at the store, right here. We want to come out in the uh, in the album itself, and that's not only how it's sculpted, but it's how it's how it's painted. Yeah. So if you notice with um, vulgar display here, there's a newsprint effect yeah. over the what was the photograph, which would have been a high contrast black and white photograph. Yeah. Uh, so we sculpted a tooth into every bit of that so the light catches it you see how it's got kind of a, a tooth to it it's not smooth it would be impossible at this scale to sculpt in every yeah. dot from a newsprint so we, we put the tooth on it and it's painted in more of a uh more of a muted screen back kind of way it's not as high contrast as we might do you know for for ghost over there to say in something because we're just constantly referring to this when the design team is asking, you know, questions, should we do this? Should we do that? I'm just saying, what what does it say? You know, get the get the get the album. The answer is, don't ask me. Get the album. We need to recreate this as best best as we can. So the back of albums actually have the liner notes etched in. So the back of Vulgar Display has this, and every oh, every 3D yeah. vinyl has this. I'll, I'll grab one that's okay. actually already out. Bueno, esto está, está, está maravilloso y es parte de un valor agregado que están dando, ¿no? Este, mira, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos el, el, el Dr. Feelgood de Motley Crue. Here's Dr. Feelgood. So, on the back of Dr. Feelgood, it was the guys in the, the straight jackets. Yeah. And there's the COA is screen printed, the certificate, and then hand numbered. You can't lose it. It can't be damaged. Uh, and so uh, it's, it's trickery it's, with your number because it's yeah. it's right on the. Yeah, and it's a, it, it, it's a born collectible. That's it. That's it. You can't lose it. So this is this is Doctor Feelgood from from Motley, who will be out on the stadium tour this year. We've got the uh, the Motley Crew set. The 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 booth here was just really full, so we couldn't bring everybody. So that's that's Tommy Lee mm -hmm. from the Shout at the Devil era. Yeah. Um, so some of the new things that we've got here that. We, ha if you show it to your fans today, we actually have not launched the products, and they don't know, necessarily know about them yet. So, the Scorpions Blackout uh, is is pre-launched. We haven't announced it. We're showing that for the first time to fans and buyers here at the show. Uh, Toys in the Attic is is new, and in and a coming soon, uh, coming soon 3D vinyl. Uh, Twisted Sister, as I mentioned, that's new for for rock icons. Um, Ghost Papa Nil mm -hmm. is uh, is new. The Ghoul guitar player is pre-launched. No one's seen that yet, other than here in New York. The Ghost Backdrop—that's the series we yeah. what we call on tour. Mm -hmm. So to give fans, you know, a, a, a third category uh, for things to collect, we've got Rock Icons, which is the figures 3D vinyl. On tour is basically the road cases so yeah. iconic tour elements that yes. were out on the road mm -hmm. so this is the pig from 1977 and if you'll notice if you zoom in here you've got the tour itineraries okay. from the european and u.s leg of that tour mm -hmm. and then the set list of what what they played, that way they played. Oh, that's actually up here and that's 
exactly what happened in 1977. We had that's for the roadie will have inside. We had, uh, we had a dinner with um, Pink Floyd's management while we were here in New York, and he tells the story. In 1977, the pig is flying, and Pink Floyd was was different. They would write a new record, mm -hmm. and they would play it live for an entire tour, and then go and record it, which is completely ass backwards well, from what the the label would want. But you know, Pink Floyd was doing what they wanted then because Dark Side of the Moon had come out, and they were one of the biggest bands in the world at that time but during that tour the fans are being really rowdy and they're trying to play the animals album which is kind of subdued and mm -hmm. in, in many areas and it was really pissing off roger waters <laughs> so the you know the the angst and and just you know anger sometimes with the fans is building up building up and that's where he they think he got the inspiration for what would become the wall you know the rock star yeah. that is wants to be completely disconnected from an, its audience, and you can say that's the beginning of the end of Pink Floyd as, yeah. a, as a band, right there. So. Well, that part of Pink Floyd, yeah, that, 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 that part we, of, of rock classic, history, the classic, yeah, classic. Well, classic I, 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 I do think this is a great uh, way to make tribute to some of these great artists that made the records of the 70s so bright, so iconic, so unique. Then that you bring them to 3D life to get new lives celebrated every day because it this is the music that you grew up with and it's not like you know hey that's what i liked one summer it's you started playing it in 1970 whatever or 60 whatever and it you, it was probably on your playlist this morning or you know when you go to the gym today or whatever you know. yeah and you still hear mo most of this music now uh again where uh people can buy uh, the the we rock icons material. To fans from knucklebones.com, but uh, we do have distributors in Mexico, South America, anywhere in the world. So it's at specialty retail and e tailers in, in every country in the world. But knucklebones.com has everything and, and we can ship it direct to you. Okay, well, Tony, thank you very much for this uh, tour guide for, 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 the, for the booth. And well, let's say goodbye to our friends down Adios. in Mexico. Bueno amigos, pues ya lo vieron, eh, están increíbles, yo me llevaba varias, hay unos que no habían salido, bueno que ya habían estado en hace tiempo y ahorita regresaron, estoy muy contento de ver muchas de estas cosas, se están presentando en la Toy Fair eh, 2020 en Nueva York y bueno pues los invitamos a todos ustedes amigos de en Vinil Hi-Fi a que vieran un poco de lo que también se llega a ver en esos lugares. Yo soy Ricardo Méndez, dejen sus comentarios, compartan los videos y nos vemos muy pronto en otra edición de Vinil Hi-Fi. Chao.